the 1999 NBA Finals. Tonight, Game 5, the San Antonio Spurs versus the New York Knicks. When you get to one, you know, you're thinking this is this is a great opportunity. You know, we got to come out and play our best game of the series, the best game of the playoffs. And uh, if we're able to do that, then uh, then uh, we can win this whole thing. Allen Houston to Larry Johnson between two defenders who make him miss. Sprewell gets into the paint but can't finish was left alone and he's out about a six or seven inch height disadvantage. Sprewell pulls up and misses. Sprewell. Tough luck on the shot. Now he has it back. Houston for three. Well taught at Wake Forest and stayed there for four years. So that has really helped him be such a quality player so early in his career. Footwork is wonderful. Absolutely. Sprewell into Thomas. Kurt Thomas in a crowd, knocked away from him, but a foul. Team right now for the Knicks. Kurt Thomas. Houston. Tough luck on the shot. And between them, they have 13, seven for the Admirals, six for Duncan in game five. Pass for Johnson. Knicks lose it. Sprewell against Elliott. His pass knocked away by Robinson. Still Nick Ball. Hurrying back. Has to let it go. Someone got a piece of it, and that's the way the first half ends. Screening for him. Sprewell blows by Robinson, who catches up and blocks it from behind. In San Antonio, and it's Ellie's second. And Sprewell goes to the basket. You see Duncan and Robinson both get a piece. That's really the, that's the Spurs' first block shot of the game, which is the third period. Make it five. A New York turnover as Robinson steals it. Duncan on him. Takes the jumper, goes to the drive, misses with the left hand, and Robinson is there to clear it. Four for four from the free throw line. Now Jaron Jackson with eight points. It's like timely shooting by somebody all playoffs. Charlie Ward into the lane. Running one hander spins out. Jackson jockeying back and forth as he tries to defend him. Charlie Ward now on the drive. Back outside the spree. He gets into the lane but doesn't take the ball with him. San Antonio on the run. Allen used to make something happen here. Larry Johnson out to Sprewell. Johnson has it back, spinning on Duncan. Houston. Larry Johnson to Camby. Marcus Camby missing on the run. Duncan will take it. And a shot clock violation. Has it stripped away by Charlie Ward. Here come the Knicks. Sprewell. Yes, you can stand around, but when you got that guy, he sort of erases any kind of trouble you get yourself into. Five straight points by Duncan now. Here's Houston into the lane, but he travels. Both corner clocks are on now. Here's Spree on his game, but Duncan gets there to block it. Spree tried to save it, but into Rose's hands. Back comes Looking for the hot hand. He brings it outside, intended for Johnson. Robinson, with the great agility for a big man, steals it. Camby missed it, and the rebound to Duncan. Sprewell, five seconds to shoot. Sprewell deals out to Johnson for three. Way off. between the rim and the glass, and that means a jump ball. If you're going to go give help on Sprewell, you better get there quickly. He turns that corner, and look at Robinson and Duncan both there. Jump ball. Now, with that situation, you can choose who you want to jump. For the ball to him. Latrell around Duncan. Lost the handle for a moment. Three seconds to shoot. They don't know it. 
Childs heaves it toward the hoop, hits the side of the glass, and what a time for a 24-second violation. Sean Elliott, Avery Johnson, big hoop for Avery Johnson. Sprewell off the dribble against Elliott. Let's it go. The scoring spree does not continue. Tremendous effort by Sprewell to put his team in this position. And let's take a look at San Antonio. Look, Robinson, you've been through many coaches, many changes, and finally an NBA championship. What's it mean to you? I'll tell you. To me, this is just a, it's a journey that just goes to show that <laughs> hard work and persistence pays off, baby. I love these guys. And I tell you what. One thing I learned to do this year was trust the Lord through the whole thing. He blessed me. He blessed his team. He took us to the top. And if you learn anything from this, baby, learn that the Lord doesn't give up on his people, baby. He takes you all the way. That is the most emotion that I've seen you show throughout this entire playoffs. But this has got to mean something for you. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, everybody. Oh, man, this is incredible. All of a sudden, you win the MVP award. This is incredible. It feels so great out here. The teammates came out here, and we had a tough game tonight. We pulled it out. We, we, we kept our focus throughout, uh, and we wanted to finish it now, and we did. We did a great job with it. All right, congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, let's go back. I'm joined once again by the MVP, a little bit more from Tim Duncan. Tim, what was it like for you tonight? It seemed as though for most of the second half, you just said, come on, guys, get on my shoulders. Was that the case? Um, I had a, a couple of really slow times in there, and uh, they came and gave me the ball a couple times down the stretch in, in the third quarter. I really felt good, wanted to go at it, wanted to get back into the game, and uh, shots were falling for me, so I, I wanted to carry them. To win this in your second year and to be praised by so many now as the best player in the game, how do you receive that? <laughs> It's an incredible honor, but all it means is uh, people are just going to keep going at you, going at you harder even, and even harder next time. Uh, but it's an incredible feeling. I'm going to stay with it and, and just uh, uh, get a high off it for the whole summer and then uh, get back to it next season. How much was this particular championship to you guys dedicated to David Robinson based on his past? David, Sean, uh, AJ, the guys have just been working so hard for so many years in this, in this league and uh, have fought all over the league to get here. And uh, we come together as a team. And we do a great job and, and pull this one out. It's for all of them. We saw at halftime all the people in your homeland. What do you think's going on down there right now? Oh, they're going crazy. I, I, I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. They're going crazy down there. Timmy, congratulations. A great playoffs and congratulations. Hey, I want to say, say happy birthday to Mark. Happy birthday, man. All right.